I'm starting out of a disclaimer. This video is in honor of Crafting Journey. She did a parody of me in Zoom the other day, and so I told her I was going to do this in honor of her. So let's begin. Hello, Floss Tube. This is Floss Tube. Not even ready. Number 32. I do have on my eyelashes. My hair's all done up. And the red lipstick. Nothing on my teeth. And the girls are where they're supposed to be. Okay, let's get started. For my whips. And no, I'm not going to do that voice through the whole thing. It's just a joke between me, Rebecca, and everyone in Zoom. Okay, I'm still working on S's for Stitcher. I have not touched it in a couple weeks. Um, it will be back into rotation, though. I do really like this. I started this a long time ago. It is done on 28 count Monaco. my hair. I will be starting this soon also. It does come with a spider charm, but I got fabric to show you. I have some goodies, but I'm going to show them last. Okay, don't forget, September 1st starts this sale. It is the O Christmas Tree by All Through the Night. Either Fat Quarter Shop or 123 Stitches sold out, go to the other shop. Start September 1st. There is a Facebook group. The link is down below. Okay. Halloween gnomes. I have not touched in a couple weeks. Four of them are done. There's eight altogether. I am loving these. This is on Etsy Green Terrace is the company name. There's eight of them altogether. I am loving those. They all are DMC, and one, there's actually one that is from the new colors. I think it was number 16. Okay, this is my Halloween sale. So this is from Shannon Christine. I'm still working on this. So this is for four months. Every month on the first, she sends you two new charts. This is $8 a month for the four months. Loving that. I know, I don't hold them probably up long enough for you. I'm so sorry. I did stitch on Animal Crossing. I got the new pattern for August, which was Celeste. So this is Celeste. So you get one a month. It will be done the end of this month. This is a Christmas gift to my oldest son. This is on 28 count Monaco. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, I forgot. I got to flip my hair. I did work on my haid. I was only going to do one column. I ended up doing two columns. Look at that. Fly, butterfly. So all of this is white 
it's all done in two colors white and crinic white so I just I was only going to do the one column but since it moved over to this side I ended up doing almost all two columns so yeah it's moving along it's moving along that's on 25 count I don't know what the fabric is and I started that in 2009 yeah sorry okay still good right Rebecca okay I started in the cross stitch Halloween issue the hocus pocus I need cough whoops I need coffee to focus this is a stitch along on Facebook there's a Facebook group that Brian's in charge of and I worked on this last night while in Zoom. The only thing I did this morning was the words, I need. I will work on this some more today. Okay, now on to things that I bought. So Saturday, I told my husband, I asked him, will you take me to Hobby Lobby and is there a chance I can have like $50? He said, sure. So he took me to Hobby Lobby. Now, I've been in other Hobby Lobbies, just not this one. And he's never been in any. I lost him twice. Yeah, he liked the store, too. And he doesn't have any crap. He doesn't do crafts and hobbies. He just saw things he liked. So I bought, did I buy these there? No, I didn't buy these there. I bought a shitload of DMC because I'm kidding up all these projects. Um, what else did I buy? I'm not showing you the DMC because it's just DMC plus and I already kitted them up But I did buy these plaques So I'm like well, how do you hang these because if you hang it this way so it's flat against the wall Then these are in the way And if you have this against the wall, I don't think it'll stay against the wall so someone said that I should just cut these off um cover up the holes with the fabric and then just glue something on the back to hang it up i don't know we'll see and i don't know if i'll be painting these if i'll be use i might use scrapbook paper and put that and then my cross stitch piece over that so lots of options they were what 349 a piece i think they were on sale too so there's that And then I got Stitching Spell. It's, I don't think it really has a name. It just says pattern name is D4. So I will do that sometime. I need to get fabric for it. It's like a, a tan color. So I think I want like a mottled look. Okay. I went to, so we left Hobby Lobby. They didn't care. I wanted anchor. I wanted a bunch of this anchor floss, the black floss, because it's supposed to be better than DMC 310. So I went to Michael's. I said, can you take me over to Michael's? It's across the road, kitty corner. So we went to Michael's. They didn't sell the anchor floss, and I wanted the little DMC um, the little ones, they're like half this size for my floss from kitting up each project. They have the little ones. All they had were this size, so I didn't buy anything there. So I got in the car and I said, will you take me to Joanne's? It's just down the road. So he said, yeah. So he didn't get out of the car for Michael's or Joanne's. I ran into Joanne's. They only had one big spool left of the black anchor and one little spool. So I bought those, came home, and ordered more on one, two, three stitch. Um, while in Joanne's, I also got me some 28 count Monaco because it's my favorite fabric. And they were $5.99. And it's 15 by 18 inches and I needed some white I'm running I'm running out of white uh, 
Okay. Look it. Kaya Ty Ty died. She dyed fabric for me. Isn't this gorgeous? So she had messaged me and Crystal that she was going to where did she go? Hobby Lobby, Michaels, I don't remember, Joanne's, one of them, and said that they had this fabric. Do you want some? Yes. She was going to learn how to dye the fabric. I'm like, yes, please. I wanted this color. And it will be for that pattern I showed you where to go. I already lost it. There it is. So I have four patterns by this company. They're all Halloween. They're done mostly in black thread. They have a little bit of orange, like it says $16.92 up here in orange. And the word boo is in orange. The other three are also like this. So I'm like, this, these fabrics will be perfect. So that's what I'm doing them on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I wanted the modeled look. So she did an amazing job. I'm loving it. So I got four pieces. So there is that. And before I tell you who won the giveaway from last week, let's talk a little bit about floss tube. So I have three floss tube shout outs. Mislaid Pages. Love her. Go check her out. Stitching by the Shore. And the Vintage Stitcher. All three are different type of stitchers. Everybody stitches differently. Um, everybody stitches different things. So it's cool to watch all of them. I did not have any finishes this week. Um, I will have a link down below for the shout outs and for my whips and where you can buy them all. The only thing is this Halloween issue seems to be pretty much sold out everywhere. I am pretty sure you can still get this though on um, Down Sunshine Lane. So make sure, go check out Down Sunshine Lane. I will have the link down below for her. What else? What else? What else? That's it. My videos are so short, I don't know. People talk, they talk on and on and on and on about what they're stitching on and all this and that, and it takes them a long time, and I'm a quick, I just talk. <laughs> yep, that's me. Okay, so if you remember, I had this giveaway last week for the Nora Corbett and the bead pack. I wrote down the names because they said you had to tell me your favorite Mirabilia or Nora Corbett pattern. And so I wrote down all the names and um, I, I numbered them and then did number generator. And so the winner is Colorful Colorist. Colorful Colorist. So if you are watching this, Today is Wednesday. You have till Sunday night to reach out to me. If you do not reach out to me, I will redraw a name. So, yeah, reach out to me and I will get this mailed out to you. So, that is everything I've been stitching on. What is next? Did I bring that out? Oh, yeah. I will show you what is next. Wait, where did I put it? Down here. So, the other new start that I am starting this weekend is from the new Just Cross Stitch magazine. Did any of you get this? I am doing this. 
So when you subscribe to this magazine, you also get it as an e-magazine. And I get that. You get that on the third every other month because this comes out every other month. So on the third, I was able to download the, um, the e-magazine before I got it. And I ordered the fabric it called for. I wanted this in 28 count, but I couldn't get it in 28 count. So this is, picture this plus, it's a quarter yard, 14 count shale. Isn't that pretty? It's like a pinkish, mauveish, purplish color. So yeah, I got that. And Hobby Lobby actually had the beads for this. It calls for these types of beads, they're Czech glass beads, and Hobby Lobby has these. Joanne's and Michael's doesn't, but Hobby Lobby does. Also, Hobby Lobby has these other DMC threads. They start with a C, so this is C310 for black, and it's really soft, and it has, like, um, metallic thread going through it, and then there's an orange. So that was for another chart in here. I believe it was, what one? So I'm doing that Enchantress, Halloween Enchantress. But the other floss was for, you know I'm not going to find it because I want to. This page here. I don't want to show you the. This page. So it calls for C310, C725, and C740, and I have them. So yeah. So I can do that one also. And this calls for Dublin. I don't know, but I'll use a different fabric. No. Sorry. So, yeah, doing that Halloween Enchantress, that'll be fun. No, lay down. She might be barking at FedEx. They're coming today with my Happy Planner stuff. Yeah. Just trying to refold this. No. So I'm thinking that's why she's barking. So we put that in here. So this is a really old product. I've had it for many years. I don't I bought it at one of the cross stitch retreats. I don't know if it tells on here who made it. No. I'm not sure. I have a lot of project bags. I would like a couple more, but I don't. So these, I have a few. I have a bunch of these. Twelve of them I change out every month. So this is for August. It has, I keep these really nice scissors. These are expensive scissors. I have two scissor fobs because they're both beach themed. I keep them in here and I keep my beach themed needle minders in here so then they come out for the month so the end of the month it'll all get put back in here it gets put away but i have extras so i have this one here and this is by so much to love so it's so s-e-w much the number two and love is l-u-v and I believe they have an Etsy shop now. When I bought them, though, they didn't. Isn't that pretty? So much to love. Let's see. Can you read that? So much to love. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, good, right? Right, Rebecca? All good? I love you, girl. She knows I'm making fun of her. She made fun of me the other day. Then I have this Tinkerbell one. 
that's also from So Much to Love. So I just thought I would show you guys all my little project bags. I have this one here. And when I started buying from this company, oh my God, it was years ago. I asked them, because I, sometimes I didn't like their fabric they had. I said, can I send you my own fabric and have you make them in the fabric I chose? And they said, yes, so I did. Then I have these, and I'm not sure if they made these or not. They don't have their, their number. They don't have a label on them. But, yeah, have that one. So these that I'm showing you, I actually use as project bags. This one has is for my um, old Christmas tree stitch along that I'll be doing. And I have this one. Love this. I have more. They're in the other room. They're the ones that I change out every month. So that is what I'm doing, what I'm starting. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what are you guys doing? So would you like, I'm going to sit here, chit chat with you. Love you, Rebecca. I know she's probably so sick of me right now. She's probably going, girl, you're a crazy bitch. It's all in fun. She was not picking on any other floss tubers. She just happened to mention she didn't want to make floss tube videos because it seems like everybody has their hair nicely done, wears the makeup, and all that. And I'm like, that's not true. Not all of them do. Okay, I did focus. Now I got to do focus. Nope, that's, that's not true. There's quite a few of them that do not wear the makeup or anything. So, um, and she was talking, I called it a Mrs. Doubtfire voice. So she was talking in the Mrs. Doubtfire voice. And usually what goes on in Zoom stays in Zoom, but she already knows I'm going to do this. So it's all in good fun. We are not picking on anybody except for myself. I said, do I really sound like that? <laughs> we were dying. We were dying. So, Rebecca, yes, you need to make a floss to video. She actually found a cross-stitch door by her, and she went crazy. She's never been in a cross-stitch door. I'm like, oh, yeah, Th those are dangerous doors. Those are worse for me than a craft store because it's just full of cross stitch stuff. So a, it's so different than a regular craft store, you know. Yep. I'm just counting. Oh, and somebody wanted me to show this too, so hold on a minute. Without showing too much of a pattern, I will show you. So they were asking me, what is that? board that you use. It's a metal board. I don't mark my patterns. Um, I did make a working copy since this was in a magazine. Um, I'm going to try to cover this up with a piece of paper. I know I have a piece of paper. Here. Okay, so this is called a Loran magnetic board. I got, I have like four or five of them and they have different sizes. I have a couple little ones and then I have these big ones. Okay. 
So this is my magnet board. It holds my needle minders. Yes, I'm full of needle minders. Just love them. And these magnetic boards come with these magnet strips. I did buy a roll of magnet strips so I can cut more on to have extras on the other boards. This one's really old, as you can see. It's, it's pretty well used. Anyways, this is what holds my pattern. And without showing a lot, I just move my, I move the magnet as I go along. So while I'm working on this top row, then I just bring the magnet down to the next row. And I always work with, you know, whatever. This only has a couple colors, but if it has a lot, then I usually start with the color at the top and see if it's in this area. And if it's not, then I go down to the next color to see if it's in this area. But I, that's how I use my magnets. Um, I do mark like where the quarter, where the half mark is on horizontal and vertical, I make a mark on it so I can keep track of where I am on my fabric. This is how I don't lose track of my fabric, of where I've counted, where I've stitched. And then I have it on this, I got it, I think at Office Max, I might have got it from Amazon. It's just a like, um, a table easel and this little flap down here flips down a little bit and I just set my metal board on that and it works great here on the table I also use I have TV tray in I have what's called a table mate in the family room I also have TV trays but I have this white table called a table mate the last time I looked, it was not available on Amazon anymore. I probably had mine about 15, 10, 15 years. And it sits on that, and the table mate legs are come down and out. So you can slide the table underneath your couch or your chair so it's right up by you. So I use that when I stitch in the family room, and I can have my feet up on the couch, and I cross-stitch. So I was asked to show that, and I think that was it to show you guys. But yeah, these are all my needle minders, my Halloween. I My Halloween ones are in my Halloween bag that I pull out in October. But because I'm working on Halloween, I decided to keep one needle minder, and that's here. Otherwise, everything else is for the beach. So this says Cross Stitch Pails 2012 from the 2012 Cross Stitch Pails retreat I went to. Then I have one that has a mermaid. Okay, I can't see. I don't know why my lighting is always so bad. I have a seahorse. I absolutely love my seahorse. I have a sand dollar. Just a little bitty sand dollar. I have a wooden one that has a seahorse, and this was drawn on there, and it's by Michelle Palmer. I have a shell with a pearl. This is supposed to be a cover minder of Trapper Do. That's Jeremy's dog, and I use it as a cover minder or a needle minder. I have this fairy. This one says stitching at the beach, cross stitch pails, and I don't see a year on this one. This one says cross stitch pails 20 or 2006. Yes, I've been going to them since 1999. Um, I have a turtle. And that's it that's on this board. And I have many more. I have many more. But, yeah, I just like the bling on my board. It's pretty. And, yeah. 
So tell me down below, did you laugh? I was sorry. I was supposed to tell you guys don't be drinking anything while doing this because, you know, I love you guys. <laughs> All in fun, all in fun. I'm not picking on any floss tuber whatsoever. And Rebecca does know that I was going to do this. I did warn her. And you guys let me know what you think. <laughs> False eyelashes, I don't wear them hardly at all. Um, everybody loves them. My husband was against me buying them. I was helping out Amber because she was selling them. They are a pain. They are put on by an eyeliner that's liquid. It's magnetic. So they go on magnetically. It takes me five minutes to get them adjusted. They never look right. And one always looks better than the other. I don't care. So the first time I put them on, I'm like, ew, I don't think so. And Scott came home and said, oh, my God, I love them. <laughs> okay. So I don't wear them very often just because... For some reason, the past couple years, eye makeup makes my eyes um, turn red. So I don't know if I have a sensitivity issue now. And I am not taking these off until tonight because I put on full face makeup. It's staying on. I even got on my earrings. All of this is for you, Rebecca. She's probably saying, stop saying my name. So if anybody wants to check her out, she is hilarious. It's Crafting Journey. She does live streams Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on Sundays at noon Eastern Standard Time. And then the rest of the mornings, she does a coffee and crime in the morning. She talks about a, um, yeah. You know a court thing going on so she talks about a court case that's going on on law and crime or something like that network on YouTube so um, she talks about that and about her day and what she's crafting oh that would be my husband so I'm going to say goodbye love you guys you all have a great day goodbye